ओके सो टुडे क्लास वी विल डिस्कस दिस कॉन्सेप्ट्स मा फर्स्ट स्टोरेजेस ओके सो बेसिकली वी हैव ए सेशन स्टोरेज लोकल स्टोरेज लेट अस गो वन बाय वन ओके व्हाट इज स्टोरेज ओके सो लाइक फॉर एवरी वेबसाइट दे विल स्टोर सम डाटा ओके एंड व्हेन एवर दे आर स्टोरिंग सम डाटा एंड दे वांट टू ओपन दैट डाटा सपोज आई विल ओपन दी सम एग्जांपल वेबसाइट ओके सपोज हियर वी हैव स्कैन्स पेज ओके so here in the scans page here we have some values okay some uh, apply button let me increase the value to 100 okay i'm going to click apply so there is a value so what i will do i will reload the page again okay and again whenever i reload it i will go and check it what is the value we are having it uh, 100 only okay but normally whenever we are trying in the html what will happen is so whenever you are trying to set if you reload the page automatically it will go to the normal value it will not uh, get the that 100 or 50 value okay so to store such reasons we will go for the storages okay so basically mainly there are two storages are there session storage and local storage we will learn what is session storage and local storage okay suppose the storage is nothing but a, whenever we want to store some data to the browser's memory okay and that memory we will use it for the application purpose suppose uh, we can be storing multiple data here we are storing some data whenever we are reloading the page user no need to set the data again we want to retain that data okay that is the purpose we are storing in the local storage okay sometimes uh, you may see you will log into the application some application and uh, even though you are in, uh, once you have logged in in all the pages you are going to see that username in the header correct right in all the pages so one page you will set it in all the pages you are going to read it in the, in in such situations also we are going to use the the storages okay so let us go for the storages so mainly storages are two types in the javascript first one is a session storage second is a local storage okay so this session storage is very simple okay suppose here i am opening a, a, a page okay so whenever you are opening any new tab okay and whenever i am opening any new tab suppose i am opening a new tab something so now this time a session will be started and whenever i am closing this tab automatically that session will be closed so this one will call it as a one session so the data will be saved until we are closing that tab only okay so if your requirement is if you want to store any data until you are closing the browser tab okay then you can go for a session storage okay not only this this one ma even if you close the entire browser also data will lose okay even if you are closing one tab itself your data will lose and if you are going to close the entire browser also your data is going to lose okay so in such situation we will go for a session storage Okay. so first we we'll learn the some examples uh, then we'll try to do this one okay so by default there is a variable called session storage okay which is already available in the javascript okay so now simply i am going to do something and let us see here okay so here i am going to session storage dot set item okay you no need to create this object this object is already available in the javascript for example we are writing console dot log right that console is already available right like this only this session storage also already available okay and this s is capital ma session session storage is capital okay so here mainly we have a four methods okay first one is to set the data set the data if you want to set any data to the storage we have to use a method called set item okay this item is like a map we have seen that map right key and value pairs so this the, here we can give any key name no problem at all okay and here we can give any value but only string type we should give it okay any primitive not object we should give only primitive data okay let us see so uh, this set item how many arguments it will take uh, two argument first is a key second is a value so once you are storing into any data into the storage we can get that value using a method called get item okay so in the map what is the method for setting set for getting get here for storage we have a method called set item okay for getting the get item okay if i am going to reload this page so here what is the name what is the key here name so what is the data i am storing it uh, some let me uh, save to print it something so our output will be some trinets okay let us reload the page okay see what is the value 
after nets okay now what i am going to do i am not go again i will i will i will comment this line already i have said this item to my storage or not yes okay now second time what i am going to do i am trying to read this value if this is already set the value to the storage this value is available okay i am going to reload the page okay see even though i am reloading the page the data is still there or not so this is called session storage so what i will do i'll close this tab okay and i am going to open in a new tab again okay let me open this tab let me open here yes okay so and enter here and console dot log this time you are going to get it as a null value or undefined okay what is the value now this time why what is the reason because that session will be there only until we are closing the that tab once we are closing it that's all the data will last okay so if your requirement is you want to store any data until you are closing the browser or tab that particular tab then you, then which storage we have to go for session storage the use case is, is like suppose you are logging into any website you want to store the token so any website they will get one token so you want to store that token where you have to store it uh, inside the session storage suppose i want to store the logged in username what is the username currently logged in user so i can store in a session storage something like this okay so what is the method name for storing uh, item any item set item what is the item for getting get item okay suppose i want to verify whether this name is there or not okay console dot log off okay uh, session storage dot okay storage dot something has so or let us go here method okay so there are get item methods then that is fine suppose i want to remove an item okay i want to remove one item so there is a method called remove item let us go check here okay session storage dot remove item of name so what is my key here name same name i should give here okay so once you remove it here we'll try to get it back again from the storage so here we'll get output as a trinity but here we'll get output as a null why why we'll get a null in the in, in the center of the place we are removing the data from the storage that is the reason we'll get a null value so let us reload it so first time we are getting trinity second time we are getting a null value so what are the methods we have seen so far set item get item and remove item okay so in interview they are asking okay how will you set data so set item how will you remove the data remove item how will you get the data get item okay so whether if you want to verify whether data is there or not simple storage dot get item not equal to null means uh, then that is the data is uh, available something like this okay so these are the methods available for the uh, storage suppose i want to clear all the data i want to clear all the data suppose i am going to store multiple uh, items suppose here i can store my age also suppose something like this i can store age and 30 okay so now how many keys are there mainly two keys are there one is a name another is a trinity name is already removed by this item but uh, we have another one right uh, i want to remove all the keys at same time then there is a method called uh, session storage dot clear okay this will make sure that it will clear all the keys suppose after uh, clearing the keys i want to verify it uh, what is the data available suppose here what is the data we'll get it uh, we'll get it as a 30 here in the bottom we'll get as a null okay so let us we can verify it here so first we are getting the value second we are removing the value so these are the only methods we have we are have available in the session storage okay so the second concept is called uh, local storage this is a little bit different than the storage okay so now th the second case is like uh, whenever i want to store my data permanently okay permanently to the system okay even though i am closing my browser and open it still i want to get my data okay in such cases we can go for a second storage is called uh, local storage okay so this local storage uh, will maintain the data even if you are closing the browser and open it okay and one small point so whenever you are storing any data into the session storage on refresh also data will be there it will not lose the data only on closing the tab only we will lose the data okay only on closing the 
tab will lose the data. Okay, that's fine. So now the second one is a local storage. So instead, whenever we want to store any data permanently to the web browser, then we can go for a local storage. Okay. So whenever you are storing any data, you should not store any sensitive information. Suppose like username, password, or any uh, credit card information, other card information, don't store such information to over there because it is available to all of the people. Anybody can see it. Okay, so that is the reason don't set any data to the local storage, any sensitive information. Okay, so then when the data will be removed, suppose I want to store any data to the here. So by default, there is a there is a object called local storage. This is also available in the JavaScript itself. You no need to create. So simple, you can use a local storage. Here also same methods only. If you want to set any data, set item. So you can set any data here. Something like this, I can say trinets. Suppose I want to set another key. Okay. Suppose if you are if you are using the same key, this value will be overridden. Okay. So I want to go with the H and 30. So now uh okay, this one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let us go on. So I want to read the data. Okay. Console dot log off. So what is the method name for reading the data? Get item. Okay. So you are going to get the data. Trinets right now. What I will do, I will comment out this line. Or, okay. Now, if I am going to reload the page, so what is the output I am getting? It uh, trinets. Okay. If I am closing the tab browser, okay, browser, and I will open it again. Okay. So even though I am closing my browser and open it again, I am going to get a output because it is a uh, what storage? Local storage. Okay. Local storage. Even though you are closing it, the data is still it will be there. It will not delete automatically. Okay, and the next thing is for local storage or session storage, we can uh, the browser we can store up to five MB. Okay, five to ten MB. That is based on the browsers. Okay, some browser they will accept five MB. Some browser they will accept to ten ten MB, but not more than that. Okay, so there is an interview question called. Okay, what if if I am going to store more than that five MB data? What will happen? If you are trying to store more than 5 MB data, you are going to get an error, no memory error, something like that. Okay. So what is the limitation here? We can set to only how much memory? Only 5 to 10 MB. Okay. And we can add some browsers will accept 5 MB, some browsers will act, accept 10 MB. Okay. So that is the one. Now I want to verify where is this data will be storing it. Okay. You can go here and there is an application. Okay. So inside the application, you see here, there is a storage is there, right? What is the storage? Local storage. So inside the local storage, if you see, what is the key I'm writing a name? What is the value? Trinets. If you are storing any information, anybody can watch your data if they have access to your machine. Okay. That is the reason. Don't share any sensitive information. Only application specific information, you can store it. Okay. And there is a session storage also. Suppose see here. So whatever the data you are storing into store here, you can verify all the data. Okay, so how can I verify it? Go to this here and application. Okay, there is applications, not applications, application. Okay, application, local storage, and you can select the website. So this will be storing based on the each website. Ma. Suppose if you are going to store any data for this website, suppose I'm going to store any data for this website, this, this will be uh, sharing this information only with that website only. It will not be applicable for the other website. Suppose see, so in the local storage, they are, uh, they are uh, storing some data. That is fine, okay? This is not sensitive information. It is uh, only uh, normal information. Okay. And this information uh, here also you can see in local storage they are storing some C some they, they are storing some key. This is the authentication key where they will be using in the server side. Okay, and they are storing it in the session storage, not in the local storage. Whenever you are closing this tab, automatically data will be cleared from the session storage. Okay, that is the difference between the local storage and session storage. Okay, and here also we have the same methods only for setting a set item, for getting the get item, for removing the remove item okay so now the only point is uh, then when data will be removed from local storage it will not remove at all we have to remove manually okay programmer has to come here and they have to write a remove item or you can go here simply you can go to your uh, javascript memory here and right click clear here so internally this will call the clear method that's all okay so now when the data will be deleted from session storage 
whenever we are closing the tab when data will be removed from the local storage we have to uh, delete manually it will not delete uh, automatically which is a permanent storage local storage which is temporary storage session storage when you when, like in which scenario you will use a session storage any session specific suppose you are going to log in some data until log out you want to maintain some data that information you can maintain in the session storage suppose i want to store any preferences preferences means uh, suppose here i have selected one filter button okay this filter button i want to store it this is not specific to my session even though i am reloading my page i want to get that such a situation will go for a local storage okay so this is the concept for the local and session storage and you can see some questions here okay so how do you store values to the local storage storage data set item okay how will you remove that data remove item uh, how to clear all the things clear method okay what is the difference between local and session storage it is a temporary another one is a permanent memory okay and we know how to remove all these things okay so these are the possible questions from the here let me